Thank you, Sue. Welcome now, retailers. Uh, on behalf of Biocell, I am very excited to be presenting our material to you today. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, Biocell Collagen, uh, which is offering a comprehensive solution to joint, skin, and connective tissue health. And we're going to take a look at uh, applications in healthy aging and in sports nutrition. Just a little bit on Biocell technology. Biocell technology was established in California in 1997. Uh, we are in the business of researching, developing, branding, and distributing innovative ingredients that are supported by science. Uh, as you can see on the screen, we have several ingredients. And the one that we're gonna to talk today about is Biocell Collagen, uh, which is a uh, ingredient that we sell to dietary supplement companies. Uh, our business model is quite unique, is that we uh, do business via a licensing agreement to both the marketers and manufacturers of finished goods. And of course, we're very excited uh, about our new partnership with uh, Now Foods. Uh, and as, as you can see on the screen, we have the Biocell Collagen product, uh, which was introduced by Now Foods just a couple months ago uh, and available now nationwide. In this slide, we're going to take a look at effects of uh, the aging. As we all know, you know, in the U.S., we have an aging population, uh, and everyone within this age group is is looking for solutions uh, to counteract those forms of aging. And particularly with biocell collagen, uh, we're going to address three areas. Uh, first is joints. Consumers are looking for something to uh, or a product uh, that'll help them with stiffer, less flexible joints, uh, skin, looking for solutions for wrinkles and hydration, and then in general, uh, age-related changes in connective tissues. Biocell collagen is clinically tested, effective, and fast-acting. Our three primary areas are active joints, youthful-looking skin, and healthy connective tissues. And one thing, and we'll talk about this later on in the presentation, is when you're looking at these areas within the in the body is that these are all connected you know we don't look at things and not surprisingly in isolation uh, everything is looked at uh, in totality on this slide uh, we're going to take a look at biocell collagen uh, and the novel properties uh, of this ingredient uh, it is really unlike any other ingredient in the marketplace and certainly like unlike any other collagen uh, what makes Biocell unique is its composition. There are three primary constituents uh, in Biocell collagen, and that is hydrolyzed collagen type 2, chondroitin sulfate, and hyaluronic acid. And this is due to the source material that we use, uh, which is the chicken sternal cartilage. Uh, that is the only part of the uh, chicken that we use, and we actually extract that uh, from the chicken sternal cartilage, uh, and within it, there are the collagen type 2 peptides, chondroitin sulfate, and hyaluronic acid. And on this side, we're looking at how does biocell collagen or what the method of action uh, is really proposed, uh, looking at both, you know, looking at the joint, uh, looking at where hyalur hyaluronic acid, uh, as well as collagen type 2, and chondroitin sulfate, uh, where they kind of uh, are absorbed uh, within the joint. And you know what that really looks like is, you know, particularly in consumers, is you know not only in the joints but in the connective tissues. You know, as we age, uh, you know, the joint, the skin dermis, tendons, ligaments, you know, blood vessels are sources or have collagen fibers within them. You know, and as we age, the integrity and amount of the gags or, you know, the primary constituents uh, really, really change. And particularly when we look at hyaluronic acid, uh, is that that's really directly correlated to uh, skin aging effects and where we see, you know, dehydration and the wrinkling of skin. And, you know, these images here are, you know, probably a little bit extreme, but they show, you know, basically at, uh, young, at a young age, you know, what the skin looks like. And then 
uh, as we age, what uh, you know the skin can look like. And the analogy is, is you know, between a fresh prune, uh, a, a fresh plum, and then a dried prune uh, in this image here. On this slide here, uh, we start with an, in an intact, uh, undenatured collagen. Uh, and what we do through our manufacturing process is actually bio-optimize it, that is, hydrolyze it so that it is better absorbed. And the novel biological properties, you know, that are unique to BioCell are still there, are still within the matrix, even as the molecular size, you know, has been reduced. On our next slide, we're looking at um, basically the effect, you know, of collagen within the connective uh, tissues. Collagens are are vital. For, for really a healthy extracellular matrix, which is uh, ECM, looking at uh, the cartilage, the skin tendons, the ligaments, uh, the skin, blood vessels. Uh, and then as we age, you know, we see a decrease in collagen, collagen content. Collagen synthesis goes down and the MMP activity actually goes up. On the next slide, we're looking at, you know, in terms of the molecular size, uh, looking at absorption rates of uh, undenatured or unhydrolyzed collagens. And that is, they're really too large for the body to easily absorb. Uh, and on this chart here, you can see that when we hydrolyze it and where we get a low molecular weight, you know, that the uh, ingredient is effectively absorbed within the body. And you can see that the, where the optimal uh, size is on this graph. And on this slide here is it, uh, you know, we're looking at uh, in terms of hydrolysis, and that is the hydrolyzed chicken uh, sternal collagen. You know, when we look at it, you know, versus other types of collagen sources, um, both you know hydrolyzed, uh, just regular collagen, and then you know there are there is some collagen in wheat and some other ingredients, uh, that really the, uh, the hydrolyzed chicken sternal collagen type two, uh, which is the primary constituent in biocell, uh, really has the, uh, is really optimal uh, for uh, rebuilding cartilage and, uh, and as well as uh, the chondrocyte stimulation. In this slide here, we're looking at hyaluronic acid. Uh, and its effect on hydration and lubrication uh, that really has two roles in uh, in joint health, both uh, in the cartilage and synovian fluid, in the skin health, you know, as it affects hydration. And, you know, as the body ages, you know, there's typically a decrease in hyaluronic acid in the body, resulting in a dehydrated or wrinkled skin and decreased joint mobility. Uh, and then through the work that we've done, we see that uh, that is, you know, BioCell helps uh, reverse that with the uh, hyaluronic acid. And we have this slide talks about some of the clinical uh, work that we've done in terms of uh, testing to make sure that, uh, in fact, our ingredient is uh, bioavailable. So we can see on this first chart uh, that there's a uh, uh, increase in uh, hyaluronic acid uh, over a 7, 14, 21, and 28 day period. Uh, and then also the inhibition of hydrolyzation on the other chart. On this side, we're looking at the other uh, constituent of biocell collagen, chondroitin sulfate. Uh, it's an essential gag for the cushioning and resistance against the external forces. And then also it really helps uh, in, in terms of increasing the pool of building blocks needed for uh, building the, the long con the chondroitin chain. And in addition to that, it helps support a balanced immune response. Now on these slides, we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the clinical trials that uh, uh, BioCell has done looking at, uh, at uh, on joint health and joint health related issues. Uh, we see in a typical population, uh, there's you know wear and tear of the cartilage as we as there is age as the population aids, 
It affects the most common and most active joints, uh, as demonstrated in this uh, image. And then, you know, other of the contributing impact factors are is overweight, uh, age, uh, physical work uh, workload, uh, people who lift a great deal, as an example, uh, or strenuous sports, and then also injury. As for our joint health uh, structure function claims, uh, you'll note that you know the biocell is clinically tested. Uh, and that uh, biocell collagen promotes joint comfort and nobility. Uh, based on the work that we've done, there's a recommended dose, dose for joint health, and that would be two 500 milligrams twice per day. Next, we're going to uh, go to some of the work that we've done in skin health, or as uh, it's commonly referred to in, by consumers this day, these days, and that is the uh, skin beauty from within. Uh, in this slide here, you know, we're, we're again going back to talking about biocells dual benefits. Uh, you know, any of the same properties or uh, same methods uh, that we see in the joint uh, are also applicable in the, in the skin, both in the epidermis and the dermis, uh, in terms of where, you know, collagen, hyaluronic acid, and uh, chondroitin sulfate um, are found within you know that part of the body. On these slides here, we're going to look at uh, some photos from a case study uh, that BioCell sponsored, and you can note on the uh, on the photos both the before and after uh, with uh, Darlinda. On the next slide, you can see the before and after slides uh, with Bob. And you'll note the highlighted areas, you know, around the eye uh, and around the lips. And uh, you know, this study here was published in the in uh, conducted in 2001, 2011, and published in 2012. Uh, it was an open label, baseline adjusted uh, for facial aging signs. Um, and uh, we looked at a population of uh, 26 uh, people. Women with uh, within the age of uh, 35 to 59 years, and the ingestion of one gram of biocell collagen for 12 weeks. Our efficacy endpoints, uh, both subjective and through bioinstruments, uh, were you know measuring skin dryness, scaling, wrinkles, fine lines, uh, skin tone, and then looking at levels of collagen, hydration, and then and blood microcirculation. On this slide here, uh, we can actually see uh, the measurement and reduction of uh, dryness and scaling at baseline and at 12 week, and then also at, at face lines and wrinkles uh, uh, between baseline and week 12. And you'll note the p-values on both of these uh, charts uh, indicate, indicate statistical significance. And then on this slide here, we're looking at skin collagen and microcirculation. Uh, and you can see both at uh, baseline at week six uh, that we've seen an increase uh, in both collagen and hemoglobin. Uh, and it leads to the uh, claim of supporting healthy skin collagen content and promoting healthy blood microcirculation. On this slide, we're looking at counteracting the natural and photoaging signs. And this is as a result of the work that's been done. You know, we're looking at a multi-layered uh, mechanism, both inside and out. And the claims are that uh, biocell collagen supports a healthy production of skin collagen, both type one and type three, uh, helps maintain healthy hydration, and promotes healthy blood microcirculation and skin tone. And we achieve younger looking appearance by decreasing total wrinkle counts and facial lines. In these photos here, we have uh, before and after photos at week uh, at baseline and at week 12. And you'll notice on each three, uh, we're seeing a reduction in wrinkles. And then on the bottom slide, a reduction in, uh, in redness. On this slide, we're looking at biocell collagen's 
uh, skin health structure function claims and dosage. Again, we have a clinically validated ingredient. It supports skin collagens type one, two, and three, reduces fine lines and wrinkles, reduces skin dryness, and increases skin collagen. And the recommended dose for skin health is one 500 milligram twice per day. Next, we're gonna look at a pilot study in sports nutrition. On this slide, we're gonna look at a randomized clinical trial on sports nutrition from 2014. And the study, looking at the study design, uh, this is a proof of concept study. Uh, it is a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study. Uh, we're looking at a population of eight people, four with biocell, four with placebo. Uh, it's healthy recreational subjects. Uh, subjects are aged between 18 and 55. The daily dose was three grams of biocell collagen or a placebo, and the duration was six weeks. We looked at uh, exercise stress challenge six weeks after supplementation. Um, on day 43, you'll note that they had eight sets of, of bench press of 80% of body weight. Uh, and then at day 46, repeat of the challenge to assess muscle strength endurance recovery and return to functional uh, capacity. And this study was presented at a conference. Um, it's for the International Society for Sports Nutrition in 2014. On this slide, we're looking at the mitigation of the effect of exercise-induced muscle, muscle damage. Uh, you'll note on the three charts here, uh, we looked at uh, three different areas uh, and found uh, a reduction in the effect of exercise-induced damage uh, using these three measurements. In this slide here, we found evidence uh, in both groups you know, of less performance decrement, and it was amplified uh, in the biocell group, so that you can really see, you know, the biocell collagen may enhance stress resilience to high intensity resistance exercise uh, in the bench press repetitions in the two different uh, groups, uh, the biocell group versus the placebo group. Looking at this slide here, uh, biocell collagen offers a patented comprehensive solution. It has clinical relevance to both joint health and skin beauty. Uh, it offers comprehensive support via multiple ex, uh, mechanisms of action. Uh, it supports production, normal production of both collagen and gags. Uh, has remarkable bioavailability of hydrolyzed collagen. And may help preserve and promote healthy activities of chondroitin sides and dermal fibroblasts. And we see a limit limitation of hydrolyzed activities. Biocell collagen offers a new paradigm for sports nutrition of protection and fast recovery of connective tissues, supporting major collagen types, reducing exercise-induced inflammation, and protecting muscle tissue. Thank you. Please visit our websites for additional information. And Sue, I'll turn it back over to you.